Insanely high amounts of popular responses, mainly by one editor saying that I had to do this again. I'm doing it! Yeah! Um... <laughs> See, Monica was was redneck. Natsuki was emo. Yuri. Why am I being called? <laughs> as soon as I start the video, I'm getting a call. Hold on a second. Right. Loading game. Wait. What was I ordering again? Oh yeah, she was black. <laughs> I've got this, I think. <laughs> uh, yada yada yada, yada yada. I will end. <laughs> I, 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 I already regret naming myself Monica, and then trying to click new game. <laughs> it wouldn't let me. It wouldn't let me choose a new name. <laughs> Girly Giggle. Uh, yeah. Can I really impress the glass star, Monica? With my mediocre writing. Mediocre writing skills. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. <laughs> Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as. Chicken nuggets and emo chan clean up their food. Food? I thought we only had tea. What the heck? <laughs> uh. No, I'd say I wonder what Sayori is thinking. But you know, I think she already is thinking some very, very lewd hand holding going on. <clears throat> Action. Hey, Monica, since we're already here. <laughs> uh, you know, I've got to think. Do I want to walk home with this woman? Probably not. But I'll do it anyways. That's alright. Wait. That's right. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she stayed... Because she always stayed after school for clubs. You know, the pink count has killed me over 30 the last video. You know what? Here, let me just... BAM! Alright. Sure, might as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. With that, the two of us departed the club room and make... make our way home. Where I get the antidepressants. <laughs> The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Which one should I... <laughs> Sayori. Natsuki. Yuri. And Monica. Um, give me a moment. Give me a moment. I'm gonna actually get a look. The four girls. Sayori. Natsuki. Yuri and Monica. Uh, for, for, uh, see, long ago, the four girls, the four waifus, lived together in harmony. Then everything changed when the fight, when, when Monica attacked. Only the main character, master of all four waifus, could stop them. But when the world needed him most, he quit and decided to reset before everything got scary. <laughs> Alright, I just need to make the most of my circumstances. And I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Here we go. <laughs> Hi again, Monica! Wait. <clears throat> Hi again, Monica. How are you doing? Glad to see you getting a little way on us. <laughs> Temple of Archie. <laughs> uh, is 
that me or her? Nah, don't worry, I pull a barbecue out on you. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my words. Also, has anybody seen the cupcakes? I'm only here for them again. <laughs> I was the last to come in, so everybody was already... Well, everybody but Sayori was all... <laughs> Sayori was hanging out. <laughs> Thank you for keeping your promise, Monica. Wait. Thank you for keeping your promise. You know what? Forget this. Allow me to explain it to you like this. Hey, Dura Weirda. go again. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Imagine Gosh, the print I just created. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not gonna switch. I'm gonna figure this out. I got this. I hope this isn't too overwhelming. Wait. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you die headfirst in food literature, even when you are amenomina to it. Like, come on. He ate with cupcakes. He deserves this punishment. later so then they look correct <laughs> and last year too like unless you Sayori you shouldn't come here just to hang out like yeah if it doesn't take this seriously I'm gonna use my Madoka Magica pudding fetish knockoff Kill him. Magic, you sure have a big mouth for Weeboo. Probably Weeboo, I might add. What? Like, I swear, I'm not. Look, I'm completely anime waifu. Look at me! Nobody will ever understand the torment I feel. The torment of an extremely attractive ninja who is lusted after by pretty much every girl he's ever met. Mine is indeed a tormented existence, filled with torment. And girls. Girls with their breasts. They torment me so. David Bowie will never understand the pain I feel inside. The pain that comes from being intensely gorgeous and loved by millions of people around the world. God, I hate myself. Nom, nom, Nobody nom, will ever understand nom, the food I taste. Nom, the food nom, that tastes nom, like regret. Nom, and noodles. Nom, just like the taste in my mouth when Sasuke's brother ruined my life. For some reason there were noodles involved. It was weird. Nobody will ever understand the pain I feel. The misery of being voiced by Yuri Lowenthal, one of the most skilled voice actors who ever lived. 
I am doomed to forever sound like an attractive young man with a wide range of emotions. How will I ever be truly happy when I have a multitude of fangirls who want to touch me on the butt? Nobody will ever understand the pain I feel in my butt. Yeah. Thus, he found herself stuck between Monica and Deletion. <laughs> Manga is literature too. It's like picture books, but for adults. <laughs> Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plopped back to the seat. Don't worry, guys. Monica's always gonna give it her best. As long as she's at right. As long as she's having fun. He helps me with this work without me even asking. My cookie, cleaning my room, doing my homework, being the white slave. How dependable. Chayori, I guess your room is so messy. I find it distracting not to clean it up. But please don't call me white slave. I already have, we already have one Monica with slave problems. Who's that now? You also almost set your house on fire. Let me let me count how many times you've done this now. Let's see. Uh, let's see. You were trying to cook some food. Uh, you accidentally left your hair dryer near some open water. Uh, let's see. Okay, I remember the one time you tried starting up the washing machine. At least three times you've set your house on fire. Almost. Well, I don't know about that, man. <laughs> Come on. You can believe me, can't you? I didn't do that. That was, that was all my evil to a brother. I swear. Yeah. Don't leave a brother. You are really good ships, aren't you? How come? You and Monica can be good friends. Wait. You and main character can become good friends too, huh? Well, let's see. Not in the power of blood, huh? Not in this world. Sayori. What's up? She does not have the power of plot armor in this world. You know, Sayori trying to play matchmaker while... Sayori's trying to play matchmaker with the guy she likes, but she's matchmaking the wrong couple! Oh! Right, right, right. You already even brought you something, you know? She, she, it's covered in blood, it, it's, it's in bread, it's, it's a knife. She really, really wanted to bring me a knife. Gosh. I'm having flashbacks to when I first saw what. Oh god. Wait, Tayori! Not my. Wait, me? Uh oh, I swear. It is only meant to be a friend with me. Don't be shy. Come on now. It's really nothing. What is it so I can tell you if it's nothing? Never mind! I'm too embarrassed and schoolgirl like. I'm a nomina! Sayori made it sound like a big deal, but in fact, it is really a small deal. Uh, I do not know what to do. Um. I'm sorry, Yuri. I just really. I really don't like books. I guess that's me. Wait. Wait, why did I- Wait. Hold on a second. Sayori- Sayori betrayed me! <laughs> she betrayed me! I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place, say now. 
any gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. Unless it's some crazy, creepy horror book that involves murdering me multiple times in the same game. Oh, please, please, just make sure it doesn't involve Markov. Other than that, don't make me happy. Markov. It involves Markov. Well, yeah. Um, I'm going to light it on fire when I get home. All right. I decided. Here's the book. I don't want you to kill it now. In manga, it's only for true. Get that look, I might enjoy. It's a short read. Yeah, it's only... Yeah, it's a short read. It's only twice as long as my arm. And thicker than it, too. Let's just... Yeah! This thing? How is this girl accidentally being so cute? Accidentally being cute. Just a moment. Just a moment. Sorry, MC, you're being so cringe. I just need to put you down for good. Alright. She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like despite me not reading much. Oh, Wanna bet it's just the book she likes. Yuri, thank you! I'll definitely burn this! I enthusiastically pull out my lighter. Wait, it was in the classroom. It was at home. Please, I beg of you. School fire alarms. I do not like them. Okay, I guess that just means I don't light it on fire. Okay, now that everyone settled in, I expected Monica to kick some people. But that doesn't happen. So, yay. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation. Yuri's face? Yuri's face? Uh, yeah. Yuri's face? Already buried in a book, and six feet under, in the corner. And I can't help but make sure I can find this direction. Yeah. I can't help but notice her intense expression when she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. And looks like no one wants to be bothered. I swear, I swear, kind of the near Occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this. I guess I can always read some of the book Yuri gave me. Please now. Thank you. Probably don't. Oh. Probably gonna have. She really like pick all the other clubs, so I don't think. We got we got podcasts up here. We got a bench. We get white slaves. Ones too. I like where you're going with this, but what about black slaves? Okay, black slaves. We can do it all in the fist. You know what I'm saying? We do literature club sounds too dark to reflect to it, but it's not like that at all. You just, oh, oh, that's real Monica. I'm sorry, I thought that was me interrupting. <laughs> we just need a way of showing that everybody. Something that needs to be to their creative third eyes. Ah, uh, let me think for a moment. One. That look. That, no. No, I don't want to. Please, no. I don't want to be the black slave yet. Come on, I, I got the white guy. 
Does that not count as a slave? Does that not count as a slave? Like, does that not count as a slave? Does that not count as a I think I'm stuck in country mode. <laughs> like, heck no, heck no, no right, all right, please, please. No, I don't want to be the white, I don't want to be a slave anymore, I want the white guy to be a slave, please. Wait, wait. Um, uh, no, what then? You're saying you don't want to be a slave? Hey, Jack, I don't want to be a slave no more. <laughs> I want the white guy to be slave. We gotta be. We gotta mark ourselves. We gotta make it cool. We be the group not with slaves. Regular old slaves. We be the group with white slaves. So yeah, I want white slaves. <laughs> I don't. I can't even. I think we should probably just paint Sayori all black. Call it a day. <laughs> this Sayori is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. All right, all right. I hear what you're saying. I hear where you go. What if we just did yellow slaves? Whoa! I why? Hold up, bro. Yellow slaves. Black and white. Yellow. Yellow. You saying yellow? Oh, yeah. I'm just saying, you know. You know, this is really turning into a really bad conversation, and I should <laughs> probably stop at this point. You know, it's just that awkward moment of I'm digging myself deeper and deeper into a hole. I have black friends white friends and yellow friends. I'm probably going to get killed by at least one of them. Oh my. Cupcakes, yeah! Alright, uh, yeah! Cupcakes, let's go with cupcakes. I think you'd love to do that. Oh yeah, you're right! You're right! I totally forgot! Oh, you're one of those cute little things. She made the best cute little girl pigs. Hmm. What got for everything? You know, when a woman is hungry, a woman is hungry, man. Silent Eagle. What is that? 